And I also studied the money that came into the club. I could see the girls that weren't on the box cover, Mm -hmm. that did more aggressive scenes, the girls that did anal, they didn't bring in the same clientele. So they weren't making as big. I could see the difference between the blue collar and between the suits. So I was able to. You mean as far as clientele in the club? Yep. And money. Break that down. Because obviously you guys go to the club. They're there to spend some money, have a good time. Yep. Break that down. Who like, all right, it's this guy, he's going to spend some money. Ah, don't mess with that guy. He's a loser. This girl's going to go after that guy. How, break that down with the money and in the club. You're talking about strip clubs right now, yes, right? Yes, strip clubs. At this point, where situation. are you, by the way? And still in Jersey? I'm in Reading, Pennsylvania at Al's Diamond Cabaret. And Al's Diamond Cabaret was my first nude bar. And it was BYOB. Mm-hmm. So when you're talking about the classes of money, the blue collar guys would carry in a keg and a stack BYOB? of- BYOB? BYOB. BYOB, I'm the, telling you. How were they? B- they didn't have liquor license. No liquor license. Because <gasps> right. you couldn't be nude in Pennsylvania with liquor. But you could let them bring in their own. So the guys who had more money would bring in bottles and would, you know, pay the waitress to get them a cup of ice and lemons and all the things that they mm-hmm. could get. Um, and so you could easily, it was a stark difference. So I was analyzing the whole financial setting of it. I remember Terry Weigel would come in and she did this incredible show and the suits that would come in for her lunch show, nobody put down ones. So I was like, oh man, she's only making five tens and twenties. Like there's not even a one in this whole situation. The other girls would come in. It was all ones. So I just surveyed that, and then by the time I was 21, I was starting to make my first trips out to California to start meeting people. I still had, like, a place in Pennsylvania, wasn't sure. Are you, like, on the wall there? Do they recognize you as, like... (laughs) Yeah, they do, and Al put out a lot of features because he had rules for us. You worked six days a week. He was open six days a week. And in those, Sunday's God's Day. God's Day. Right. <laughs> Not allowed in Pennsylvania. Right. Just like you can't buy liquor on Sundays in PA. You can't buy a car on Sundays in PA. Wait, really? Well, you yeah, can't buy a lot, car? Weird things. Um, and he would make you work a six day shift. And if you wanted a day off, you had to take a week off. So what mm. you'd do is you'd work three weeks and then you'd take a whole week off. He also had an accountant come in and help us with our taxes. He also paid us on a paycheck so that we weren't getting all cash. Um, so, so he made us, he made me a good business woman. This is at a, a very financial young show. Age. At the end of the day, we're talking yeah. about dating relationships. I know you have pretty, you know, strong opinions on financial stuff. And, you know, I know you help a lot of the indus- yep. girls in the industry, which we'll get into. But w- was this how your financial knowledge kind of started with this guy? What was yeah. his name again? Al. Shout out to Al. Big saving Al, that money. The dude. We all yeah. called him the dude. And he just wasn't going to. Every other club paid you under the table. They didn't even know your real name. They didn't want to know anything about you. They did not want to be responsible for you. For him, because I remember going there with my bad ID and him saying, when you actually are 18, you can come back here and work. So I wasn't going to be able to work there. Oh, so you didn't work there until you were 18. 18, I started working there. He still made me do amateur night. You got to get up on stage and do this whole amateur show. But um, yes, he was who really made me think about it Mm -hmm. and also really put me on a schedule where I could be on the road as a feature entertainer and take one week off a month, get all of my personal things done, dentists. Like he would tell you, like you take one week off a month, you get all your personal stuff done and then you work. And the six day work week was Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. You either work noon to six or six to 12. And on Thursday, Friday and Saturday, every girl had to work noon to midnight. 